Yes, and hello and welcome back guys to 911 Scales. So this video will be great because this here is a sample model car which Porsche Leipzig provided to me. And this one is now, from this point on, when this video goes live, for sale. This here is the Taycan Turbo S Christmas Edition. So they've done it again for the year 2020 after last year where they've done a 992 Carrera 4S. Also in red with a Christmas tree on top. This one was already great. This time I think it's even better. They've done it with a Taycan Turbo S, Karma in red color, golden wheels, Christmas tree on top, lovely box and it's a bit less expensive now. 59 euros made by mini champs limited to 500 pieces pretty much same as last time but yeah i really like the Taycan, and this is why i think i like this one even more also this time you can buy the models directly from porsche leipzig for the standard retail price of 59 euros you simply write them an email to shop at porsche-leipzig.com you can pay there with your credit card shipping costs in germany are four euros and fifty cents in the European Union, it's nine euro and ninety cents. Shipping will take part by UPS, and you get free shipping if you order model cars and all that other stuff, with a value of in total one hundred fifty euros in Germany and two hundred euros in the European Union. What is a bit unfortunate, the worldwide shipping is such a big hassle for a big company as Porsche Leipzig, so they can only handle inside the European Union. But if you're coming from the outside of the European Union, make sure to write me an email to my email address info at 911scales.org and I'll try to get you the model plus a few transaction fees and shipping costs so that you can also have it at your destination around the globe. All right, yeah, the model I think is already looking good, but let's grab the camera and get up close to it and inspect it properly. All right, to start off before I show you the model, here is the box and I think this is a very nice box as last time. We have beneath here the Taycan Turbo S logo in the background, a big panorama which goes all the way around around the cardboard even here on the back something which they forgot last time but here it is very nice and I really like it when model cars have their specific boxes just gives them a bit more an exclusive feeling I would say then the model also gets as last time a white bottom plate with some nice tracks here through the snow which looks very nicely done then in golden the Taycan Turbo S logo and the one of 500 limitation number very nicely done the wheels are also in gold the carbon ceramic brakes behind them have black calipers we have a Taycan Turbo S logo here in gold we have carbon side blades and yeah I think it just looks wonderfully done the overall color is carmine red which overall in contrast with the golden wheels is a very nice Christmas theme. We also have a little tree here on top which for this time is fixed in place as like the other Taycan 2OS versions by Mini Champs. I think nicely done we have the lights. Sure this could be a bit more detailed but it's only a 140V scale version. We have carbon details here on the splitter which is nice. The Porsche crest here, the radar cruise control, everything there as you like to have it on this model. Then on the rear the same story continues. We have some carbon details here, the two red reflectors. We have the light strip here with the Porsche inside which is actually nicely done by Mini Champs at this time. Then we have some black Taycan Turbo S riding here which I think would be better if it was in gold right. But this car was configured on the official Porsche configurator so you could actually buy this car in a full scale one to one scale for 200 something thousand euros without the tree obviously you could buy this exact car. Something which is a problem with this model on the other hand I think on the Taycan's roof it is not possible to install roof racks so uh, you won't be able to transport a tree on top of a Taycan but otherwise the one floor I think with this model is a panoramic roof. Mini Champs really could have done it nicely. Here it is pretty much inserted as with the Macan Turbo. I think they chose the same technique here. On the Macan Turbo it's actually all right and looks perfectly. I already done a review on that. But here the Taycan obviously does not have this small panoramic roof. The panoramic roof on the Taycan is just a one piece glass roof. So you wouldn't see an edge here. Um, yeah 
which is just a mistake, but um, because it has a tree, it is not as noticeable. But otherwise, I really think this is a very cool model and they've done a great job with it. Then finally, the interior is very hard to show you guys on these 143 scale models and these windows have a curvature, which yeah, makes it very, very difficult. Um, overall, it's a just a black interior, but has also some lovely details in there. You can see the instrument clusters, the steering wheel is detailed. You can see the other two screens in the Taycan's interior. So here it is also nicely done by Minichamps. So yeah, overall, I think it is nearly a flawless model. Always the perfect model does not exist. And this one is obviously also not perfect. But I think it is a great thing that the price is a bit cheaper now. And with that, the points for this model are 38 out of 50, which is a very high score, which is also the case because I think the Taycan is such a significant car for the Porsche company in itself. Therefore, it gets a high significant score. And if you want to see the detailed scoreboard, the link is as always down in the description below. So yeah, let me know what you think of Porsche Leipzig Christmas model car. If you like this, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to 911 Scales and check me out on Instagram and join our Discord server to discuss this model with some other very passionate collectors. And that's it for now. Tune in next time. Ciao.